Humanity's origin has long been a subject of fascination, debate, and contemplation. From religious narratives to scientific discoveries, numerous perspectives exist on how humans came into existence. In this exploration, we will delve into the concept of human evolution from a scientific standpoint and juxtapose it with the narrative of Adam's creation according to Christianity. Through this journey, we aim to shed light on the complexities of human origins and the intertwining of faith and science. As we embark on this journey of discovery, we invite you to join us in a quest for knowledge, insight, and understanding. Together, let us unravel the mysteries of our past, contemplate the enigma of our existence, and behold the wondrous tapestry of humanity's evolution and spiritual heritage. The emergence of early hominins marks a pivotal moment in the history of life on Earth. Around six to seven million years ago, our lineage split from that of our closest living relatives, the chimpanzees. This divergence set in motion a series of evolutionary changes that would ultimately lead to the emergence of Homo sapiens. Among the earliest hominins to grace the African savannas was Australopithecus ramidus, known from fossils dating back approximately 4.4 million years. Australopithecus exhibited a unique combination of ape-like and human-like traits, suggesting an evolutionary transition towards bipedalism. Australopithecus afarensis, perhaps the most famous early hominin, lived between 3.9 and 2.9 million years ago. Fossil discoveries, notably the iconic skeleton of Lucy found in Ethiopia, have provided invaluable insights into these ancient ancestors' locomotion, anatomy, and behavior. Australopithecus afarensis possessed a small brain, elongated arms, and a protruding face, yet it also displayed unmistakable signs of bipedalism, suggesting an adaptation to both tree-dwelling and terrestrial environments. Approximately two to three million years ago, the Homo genus made its first appearance, signifying a significant milestone in human evolution. Homo habilis, meaning handyman, inhabited East Africa around 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago. This species exhibited a larger brain size compared to its Australopithecus predecessors and is associated with the earliest stone tool assemblages, known as the Oldowan industry. These simple yet effective tools enabled Homo habilis to access new food resources and adapt to changing environments. Following in the footsteps of Homo habilis, Homo erectus emerged around 1.9 million years ago, representing a major leap forward in human evolution. Homo erectus possessed a more modern body plan characterized by a larger brain, reduced tooth size, and a more efficient bipedal gait. These adaptations allowed Homo erectus to excel in long-distance walking and endurance running, enabling them to exploit a wide range of habitats across Africa and later Eurasia. Perhaps most notably, Homo erectus was the first hominin to harness the power of fire. This transformative innovation provided warmth and protection and facilitated the cooking of food, unlocking additional sources of energy and nutrients. As Homo erectus expanded its range into Eurasia, it gave rise to a diverse array of human populations, including the enigmatic Neanderthals and Denisovans. Neanderthals, characterized by their robust physique, large brains, and distinctive facial features, inhabited Europe and parts of Western Asia for hundreds of thousands of years. Despite enduring harsh climates and challenging environments, Neanderthals demonstrated remarkable adaptability, crafting specialized tools, creating intricate burial rituals, and forming complex social networks. Denisovans, a lesser-known branch of the human family tree, are known primarily from fragmentary fossils and genetic evidence extracted from ancient DNA. Discovered in the Denisova cave in Siberia, these mysterious hominins interbred with both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, leaving a genetic legacy that persists in modern human populations, particularly in indigenous populations of Melanesia and Australia. Approximately 300,000 years ago, a new chapter in human evolution unfolded with the emergence of Homo sapiens in Africa. Distinguished by their high foreheads, 
rounded skulls, and prominent chins, Homo sapiens exhibited a suite of anatomical features that distinguished them from earlier hominins. Advanced stone tool technologies, symbolic expression in the form of art and jewelry, and complex social behaviors characterized their way of life. Around 70,000 years ago, Homo sapiens embarked on a remarkable journey of migration, dispersing out of Africa and colonizing new territories across the globe. This dispersal event, often referred to as the Out of Africa Migration, marked a turning point in human history, leading to the colonization of diverse environments and the establishment of thriving communities on every continent except Antarctica. Through the lens of human evolution, we gain profound insights into the shared heritage that unites us as a species and the remarkable journey that has shaped our existence. From the humble beginnings of our early hominin ancestors to the global dominance of Homo sapiens, each chapter in this saga reveals the ingenuity, resilience, and adaptability of the human spirit. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our past, we gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of life on Earth and the boundless potential that defines our humanity. Parallel to the scientific narrative of human evolution, religious traditions offer their own interpretation of humanity's origins. In Christianity, the story of Adam and Eve occupies a central place in understanding human existence. Genesis Narrative According to the Bible's book of Genesis, Adam was God's first man. He was fashioned from the dust of the earth and imbued with the breath of life, becoming a living being. Eve, his companion, was created from Adam's rib, symbolizing their unity and partnership. The Fall of Man Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden, a paradisiacal realm until they disobeyed God's command by eating the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This act, known as the Fall, led to their expulsion from Eden and introduced sin and mortality into the world. Theological Significance In Christian theology, Adam is often regarded as the progenitor of all humanity, representing the archetype of human nature and the consequences of free will. His story is seen as a foundational narrative that shapes concepts of sin, redemption, and the human condition. Can the concept of Adam be reconciled with the scientific understanding of human evolution? While some may view Adam as a literal historical figure, others interpret the Genesis narrative allegorically, recognizing its symbolic and theological significance. Symbolic Interpretation From a symbolic standpoint, Adam can be seen as a metaphorical representation of humanity's spiritual awakening and moral responsibility. His story conveys timeless truths about human nature, morality, and the pursuit of knowledge. Intelligent Design Within the framework of evolution, Adam could be viewed as the first Homo sapiens endowed with cognitive faculties such as self-awareness, moral consciousness, and spiritual capacity. This perspective aligns with the idea that humans possess unique intellectual and moral attributes that distinguish us from other species. Theological Reflection In Christian theology, Adam's role as the first man is intertwined with original sin and divine providence concepts. While scientific inquiry provides insights into the mechanisms of evolution, theological reflection offers a deeper understanding of humanity's spiritual dimensions and moral significance. In conclusion, whether humans are descendants of Adam or products of evolution from earlier primates reflects the intersection of scientific inquiry and religious belief. While the theory of evolution provides a compelling framework supported by evidence from various fields of study, the narrative of Adam's creation in religious texts offers a perspective rooted in faith and theological interpretation. Adam, as depicted in Christianity, symbolizes the first morally conscious and spiritually endowed human, distinct from other creatures and imbued with divine purpose. This portrayal suggests a unique status for humanity within the natural world, transcending mere biological ancestry. However, 
Reconciling these perspectives is not necessarily a matter of choosing one over the other, but rather recognizing the richness of human understanding. Scientific inquiry reveals the intricacies of the natural world and our biological origins, while religious narratives offer insights into the deeper questions of human existence, morality, and purpose. Whether one views Adam as a literal figure or a symbolic representation, the story underscores the significance of human consciousness, responsibility, and relationship with the divine. In this light, both evolutionary theory and religious teachings contribute to our understanding of human origins, inviting us to explore the complexities of our existence with humility, curiosity, and reverence. Thanks for tuning in. I'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on future uploads. Your support means the world to me. Thanks for watching.